If you want to learn how to make bitter leaf soup like a pro, then you've got to pay attention to this video till the very end. Right here in my pot, I already have my cow intestine, cow tribe, cow leg, stockfish and the rest of them. So this is me pounding my cocoa yam which I already boiled. I added some palm oil to make the lumps visible enough for me to pound it properly. So after pounding my cocoa yam, I transfer it into this pot. In this pot that I have my meat inside, I already seasoned it with some salt and seasoning cube of course. So I'm going to transfer my pounded cocoa yam into this pot. And after adding my cocoa yam, I'm going to add some palm oil. After adding the palm oil, I'll cover it and let it cook for a while to dissolve the cocoa yam. And of course, to ensure that the palm oil is properly cooked. Next, I add my roasted meat into the pot. I took my time to wash the roasted meat. Then I cut it into pieces of my desired size and I added it into the pot. After adding my roasted meat, next I add the oguri. Oguri is one of the essential ingredients you need for this soup. If you cook bitter leaf soup without adding oguri, then of course it's definitely not bitter leaf soup. You've got to call it something else and not bitter leaf soup. So I added my oguri. I added two of this size. After adding my oguri, I added some crayfish. You've got to be generous with your crayfish. So I added some crayfish to this pot. And after adding my crayfish, next I covered the pot to let all of the ingredients that I've added to dissolve, including the oguri and everything, I cover it to let all of them cook properly. After about 10 minutes, I'll uncover my pot and add some dried fish. After adding my dried fish, I'll stir my soup and test for salt and if it's necessary to add some more salt I'll go ahead and add some salt but if you test for salt and everything is proportional then there is no need after adding the salt the next is to bring in my bitter leaf I already pre-cooked my bitter leaf and I let it cool for some time before adding it so I'm going to add my bitter leaf because this is definitely the last thing I'll add to this soup before it's ready so after adding my bitter leaf i'm going to cover it and let it cook for at least up to 10 to 15 minutes after 10 or 15 minutes i will uncover my pot and my soup is ready so i'm going to stir the soup and i'll go ahead and serve bitter leaf soup is a very delicious soup and it's kind of a mystery how someone was able to discover that you can actually make a very delicious soup out of a very bitter leaf because when you pluck your bitter leaf fresh from where you planted it it's usually very bitter but you take your time to wash and wash it properly until the whole bitterness disappears then you use it to make a soup and this soup turns out to be very delicious isn't this a mystery I trust you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and drop a comment below bye and see you next time as we share more recipes on this channel